Uh, yes, hello, and welcome to our next installment in our series of programs on playing card games on solitaire. Well, we have a uh, question from one of our members, a Miss Emma Jean Fapp from Sarasota, Florida, writes in and says, Hey, card guy, after a long day as a mall security officer, I like to unwind with a a uh, cup of tea and a game of solitaire. Any recommendations to take my mind off my work? Well, uh, Emma Jean, I think I have just the thing. Uh, the name of the game is called 40 Thieves, and this is a fun game uh, with a dramatic tableau arrangement, plenty of foundations, plenty of action, and I think you're just the person to handle it. So let's begin with a few words first about our deck. So as you know, we are playing with a standard pack uh, playing cards, 52 cards in the standard pack. As you know, two colors, red and black, and of course, four suits within the pack, as you know, and 13 ranks per suit. That is ace through king. Uh, now, this is a uh, two pack game, so go ahead and grab that second pack uh, and get both of those packs shuffled nicely for a total of 104 cards. I do recommend, of course, uh, shuffling those seven times to achieve your uh, maximum randomness so that we can be uh, begin from a clean slate. Let's talk about the layout of our game. So, start with a nice clean surface, and when the cards reveal themselves during play, establish eight ace foundations as you see here. Your job on those ace foundations is to build up within the suit of that ace, uh, 13 cards terminating of course, with king. Do that eight times. Now, meanwhile, you will establish your tableau, and you're going to deal out three rows of ten cards face down, and the fourth row of ten cards will be dealt face up. Now, if you're counting at home, you'll see that, of course, is 40 cards, and those are your 40 thieves. Okay, let's now put a plan in place to handle those thieves, shall we? Your job on the tableau is to build down in opposing colors. Uh, the bottom card of each of those columns are available, so pick them up, start arranging them, and build runs in opposing colors as you see here. The remaining cards will form your pack, and you will deal one card at a time, off that pack and put those cards into play. Your job, move the thieves from the tableau up to the ace foundations. So why don't we go ahead and begin. Let's play around and I think it'll be clear once we play it. Let's start with a nice clean surface and go ahead and deal out three rows of 10 cards face down. I uh, sped it up here a little bit, of course, uh, so we can get to it. So 30 cards face down, as you see here, your fourth row uh, of 10 cards will be face up. Those are your 40 thieves. Okay, let's go to work. So start dealing cards off of your pack. Oh, well, we already have two club foundations that we can establish, and those will act as your uh, kind of holding cells for your thieves. Um, that's one way to think about it. So go ahead and start making some moves off your tableau, uh, putting red sevens on black eights, putting red queens on black kings. When you run out of moves, go ahead and start from that pack. Oh, good. We have our heart foundation. We can establish that uh, and start peeling cards off of your pack, looking for ways to build up your tableau and organize all of those thieves into runs of opposing colors. Very similar to Klondike and Yukon. Uh, you've seen this arrangement before, so let's continue. Oh, good. Black Queen can go on the Red King. Uh, let's look for something else we can advance. There we go. Now we've got a Space Foundation that's established. That's a holding cell uh, for your thieves. You can hear the sirens in the background. Uh, perfect opportunity to move that Two of Spades up to that Ace of Spade Foundation. Uh, continue working on your tableau. Your job, of course, is to build down in opposing colors and reveal those turned over cards. Get them into play. How about that red eight? Anything we can do there? Well, let's move that ten over to the jack. Let's reveal a flipped card. What about that four? Oh, good. Here we go. Now we've got an ace of diamond foundation. Let's slide those two over a bit. Make room for the heart foundation that we know is coming and continue to build up on those foundations. Get those thieves organized by suit and put them up on the foundation. That run of nine can go on that black ten. There's a nice red jack and a 
another jack as well. How about that run with the black 10? Put it on top of that jack, and now we have an empty position. Now, I typically use my king runs to claim those empty positions, but actually in this game you can use any card that's available, which is strategic for you. So continue to move through here. Oh, here we go. We can move that two up to the foundation. We can move that two up to the foundation as well. We've got a three of spades. We can certainly put that thief up on the foundation as well. Now we've got an empty position. Again, I like using the kings as often as I can, revealing those flipped cards and getting things organized. That black seven can go on that red eight. Perfect chance for that two of hearts to go up to the ace of hearts. We can put the black eight on the red nine and then further move that nine to the 10. So continue to organize these thieves. Now I'm gonna hold on advancing those, those two black fives, the five of clubs, the five of spades, because I haven't yet revealed my red fours and I may need those black fives to pull red fours out of the pack. So don't move them into the holding cell just yet if you need them for organizing down in your tableau. We can take that red six and put it on the seven, put that five on top of the red. Now here's where I'm gonna take this run of 10 and go ahead and claim that empty position and reveal that black eight hopefully revealing more and more cards and putting more and more thieves and opposing colors into play. I'm gonna take that nine, add it to the red 10, black queen on top of the red king. Perfect, adding that six to the red. Now, when you run out of um, logical runs to claim your empty positions, go ahead and replenish those positions from your pack and get those positions filled uh, in the most logical and strategic way you know how to do. I'm gonna go ahead and put that queen up there going to take that nine and fill it. So now all my positions are filled. I've got an empty position on the left here. I'm going to move that four up. I always like setting up the king as holding that fresh position there. Put the red four there. What about here? What else can we do here? Let's see what we can organize. Can that red nine run move anywhere? Is there? No, we can advance those fives now because I think I've got opportunities where my red four has already been advanced. So those black fives can move up to the ace foundations. Here's a seven, black seven, any red eights available. Here's a red six, any black sevens available. So continue to move yourself through the pack and let's see if we can find some ways to join these little chain gangs here of thieves and organize them appropriately. We've got an empty position. We'll replenish that from our uh, from our waste pile. Oh good, we've set up our next diamond foundation. Uh, we really only have one more position to go here on the ace foundations to have all eight ready to receive the thieves that we're processing here on the tableau. We'll continue to deal cards off of our pack, uh, build up our waste pile, and hope to get as many of these cards into play. Uh, let's see here, oh, there's a black king. Does he have any help to us? Can that red queen be of help? Well, how about this uh, queen of spades here? We can certainly move her up there. We can put that black nine where it belongs and then join that run. Now we've got an empty position. Perfect chance to put that black king and the red queen and start a new king run, which is very helpful for us. What about this empty position here? What's the best card? Well, why don't we place the eight there? Get that red jack up on top of the black queen. Again, use that waste pile to replenish your empty positions uh, and continue to build runs in opposing colors. I like it when we can use those kings uh, to clean those empty positions. That always helps us in our, in our building of runs here. Now we've got a chance here. Let's move some cards up to the ace foundations. That might open up some positions for us. Get those three and the four up there. How about that nine? Nine doesn't do a whole lot of good for us. That two of diamonds, absolutely. Put it up to the ace foundation where it belongs. Got some clubs here that need to be parked in our uh, tableau temporarily as we find a chance to set up those foundations and get those thieves put up into the holding cells where they belong. Five of spades, can't use it just yet. Scanning the area, well, how about on top of that red six there? Oh, why don't we just move it right up to the foundation? Uh, black queen on top of the red king. How about a nice three of, yeah, we can certainly place that on that four. That red four on top of the black five works. Red seven on a black eight. Got another king here, I'd love to put him into play. Oh good, we've got our heart foundation and now all eight foundations are established and we are ready to move those thieves up to the eight holding cells that we've created. Here's a nice black seven. Is there a red eight for us? Well, no, we can move him right up to the foundation where he belongs. Got a red seven on top of a black eight. That works all day long. Black six on that seven. You see, we're creating these runs in the tableau and then we'll gather them uh, gang them up, so to speak, and have them queued up and ready to move into our foundations, which we will be doing here momentarily. Continue to move through your pack. 
uh, go ahead and build up that waste pile and um, we are entitled to one redeal here in this game so why don't we go ahead and move some cards up to the foundations like we do here uh, red six on the black seven now we've got a position open what's the best move here i wonder if it makes sense to put that jack there and then here's our one redeal so let's make this one count uh, can't use the king just yet. Can you put that five up? Yes, we can. Perfect. Good chance to use that three. And here comes the four to follow. Red ten on a black jack. Here we go. Red jack on a black queen. Again, we want to get as many cards. We only have one redeal here, so we don't want our waste pile to be too large. We want all those cards to be put into play. Now we have an empty position with that red queen. Join the jack. And now look at this. Now with that black king, everybody's a family. Put that king together replenish that position from our pack or heck put them right up to the foundation where they belong now that black king uh, has an opportunity to join with that red queen run but let's put some cards up to the foundation here and get everything kind of teed up and ready here comes the five and the six here comes the seven let's move that eight up there as well um, we can join that run of black eight on top of the red nine here comes the queen on that king and again, we're just joining and joining with opposing colors. And frankly, now we've got really all of our cards dealt. And what that means is all of our thieves are queued up and ready. Let's take those thieves and move them into position. So move all those thieves up to the foundations. This is really more of a mechanical exercise now, but it's kind of the reward for having done so well. All the tens, all the jacks, move up all the queens, and finally all the kings. And what do you know? you've won the game of 40 Thieves. So there you have it. Uh, it looks like a familiar game in terms of setup. Uh, it uses a lot of the same devices that we've learned in previous games. Um, it's a very winnable game. It's a good pace, uh, good mental exercise. I think it's just a lot of fun to play. So uh, in closing, remember, you're never alone if you've got a pack of cards. Uh, Emma, thanks for writing and hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Uh, and be sure, oh, to join us again next time.